Okay, we are here and we are ready. So let's just get right into it. I'd like to introduce the fellas joining us today on Porsche. First, we have Corey. He is a firefighter. And we have Mark, he's a barber here at Faith, and Anthony is as well. How you doing, fellas? How are you doing? You ready? All right, we're you comfortable ready. in that hot yes, seat? We are. We're yes. ready. Right. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. We have got a lot of questions for you tonight, and our first question is going to come from Nina. Mm. Hey, Nina. Hey, Portia. All right, y'all. I know it's going to be hard to keep it real with this question, but I'm going to need you to keep it way real. Mm, okay. Can you really, really forgive after you get cheated on? Mm. Pause on that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you speak. Y'all want me to take this? Let's go ahead. Yeah, one. Okay, just dive right in. So you say, can we forgive after we've been cheated on? After you've been cheated on. After I've been cheated yes. on. So for me, that is a uh, deal breaker. Mm, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because, and, and I always say that because when it comes to infidelity, um, I could forgive you, but I would never be the same version of myself to you that I was prior. Okay. So you, you probably wouldn't even feel the same way about me because I would not treat you the same. I could forgive you, we could try to work it out, but I wouldn't be the same Corey I was prior to you committing that offense. Don't you think that's ego-based, though? No. I don't think it has anything to do with ego. I just think it has a lot to do with self-respect and just your boundaries. It's an illustration I always use, right? So we take a blank sheet of paper, and that's our relationship from the beginning. And once somebody cheats or steps out, and you crumble that sheet of paper up, uh -huh. if you take that sheet of paper you can, you can sit on the table, you can iron it, you can stack books on top of it, but, but you'll still. never get rid of those wrinkles. Mark, Anthony, what say you fellas? <laughs> Don't get quiet now. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'll right. say this, I'm, I'm married, so I mean, for me, it's, it's an automatic no. I mean, I could look past it, but it's still going to be... Gonna gonna be, we, it's going to sit nasty with me, real talk, though. Like, yeah. And I would expect on the, other, on the other end, too, if a man do it to a female, you're going to feel a certain type of way, too. So, no, nah, it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. It'll be over. Are you still quiet. you still no, struggling me, with this. Um, it's over with. You know, I, mm. I know I wouldn't be able to trust you anymore. You know, it's, it's just be over with, you know. Uh, I have to move on. But have any of y'all cheated? <laughs> I was just about to ask. Have any no, of no. Keeping it real, like, no cap, me, have any of y'all ever cheated and were forgiven for it? Let me take this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm an open book. I have been on both sides of the cheating fence. Mm -hmm. So, I'm 42 now. I got married when I was 23. So I was married from like 23 to maybe 30, 31, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. So in my younger years, I was on the cheater side of the fence. Okay, that's honest. Um, Thank you for being honest. Then I, my relationship after that, I dealt with some karma. Mm. So because I stand on both sides of it, and I know how it feels to be the cheater and the one cheated on, that's why I stand on that so hard. My question is, can men and women, can men honestly say they can be friends, platonic friends with a woman with no strings attached? Mm -hmm. Because they'll say, oh yeah, yeah, I can do it. And they always kind of cross that line. Yeah. You know, you go out, you having dinner, you get a little drinks and then you want to try to hit on the lady. <laughs> And, you know, <laughs> all that kind of little foolery. <laughs> but for women, we can really be friends with a man with nothing attached to it. But I don't think men can do that. So I'll take a stab yes. at it. Um, yes, men can be just friends. I have mm -hmm. female friends in my life that it's always been platonic since day one. We hang out, we can go get drinks. They give me advice, I give them advice. Nobody has ever crossed that line. So it can't happen. Are you attracted happen. to any yeah. of them? Um, Sexually? Oh, that was not so, a no. So, it wasn't a no. <laughs> so they're, they're not unattractive, but but I see a lot of you attractive women You look at them and really genuinely that, see a friend. Yeah, that I'm not like, I don't want to jump in their pants, you know? 
Okay. But what kind of boundaries are you setting in order for you to remain friends? Because I think that sometimes the reason why it crosses into something with benefits mm -hmm. is because now as friends, we might be hanging out a little bit later or we're talking to each other a mm -hmm. little bit more. So how are you creating that boundary Mark, so that it stays? How do you, you know, create the boundaries? Um... I think, you know, just remaining friend. Like, my, I, I couldn't accept my girlfriend having a male friend. Why? So Come I, on. I, I mean, Why? I'm being honest with you. Come on. I couldn't oh, have her on the phone talking to a man I mean, and or texting back and forth. He's just my friend. Yes. You know, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't accept that. See, the problem, but the I problem feel, with the, go ahead. Good, go ahead. Yeah. The problem with the friendship thing from, and I don't make blanket statements, so when I say, Y'all women, or if I say women, I'm not talking about everybody. We're not going to jump. We promise. Go ahead. <laughs> but but <laughs> the, the problem that I have run into before in the past is that if a woman would say this guy, oh, Mark, which is my friend from school or, or my friend from back home, uh -huh. and then later, round, later on I found out her and Mark had a little something going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so a lot of times some type women of have put that out there that this is my friend. And to cover out. the guy being able to stay in her life. We didn't tell the whole story. But she didn't tell the whole story. That's yeah. more than a friend. We've done that before. Yeah. 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 I want to get another question in from Milani. Yes, I really want to know, does it really matter how many previous partners the woman you are courting had in the past before mm. she's got What do you mean by, you? Did, did they have sex? Yes, okay. yes, these are sex partners. Mm. Do you need to know? I personally never want to even go down that road. <laughs> so you don't even you don't, we don't, we don't even have that conversation. To, we don't even have to talk about it because here's the deal. You're going to lie about it, and I'm going to lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> so look, <laughs> let's not even talk <laughs> about <laughs> it. You know what J. Cole said, right? Multiply yeah. by Take that number and multiply it <laughs> by three. If I met a young lady, and I would hope, which you probably have to lie, but <laughs> I, would, I would hope what? that she wouldn't say it was more than three. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, ladies, now we know the lie to give. Okay, oh, right, right. 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 right, right, right. 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 Truth be told, you really would prefer if we were virgins. No, oh, no, no, no. I can say that. And with that, hold on. Wait, wait, no. You want us to have experience. But not too much, kind of like we just kind of have green. experience. Right. Yeah. So nope. let's just hit pause right there, because <laughs> okay. we still gotta go to the commercial break. But don't forget where we were, because that just got unexpectedly juicy. <laughs> Goodness gracious! All right, we are just getting started. Coming up next, we're gonna talk about that. Plus, how the fellas really feel about gender roles—old school, new school. We're talking about that next. Coming up.